Hi there. So today I'm going to show you how you can change the color scheme of your app. So basically, um, all the templates on App Design Vault from now on actually should be able to um, change the color scheme if you don't like the color. So for today's example, I'm going to use the Moments template. And here, the Moments template is kind of pink, and I can understand that a lot of people don't actually like that color. Um, so let's just say we wanted to change the color scheme of the Moments template, right? We have um, four screens basically so what we have done now is basically to release um, a nice utility called the color switcher and this is the color switcher which you can download for free at the end of this post or um, it should be on the link on this page so basically what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to change the hue and saturation values of all the images and then kind of create a, a new color scheme it's probably better for me to show you so um, let's actually go into it and then let me show you how it works so if I click on browse I'm gonna have to select um, before I do that let me show you um, some files alright so here th here's the moments template and we have resources down here so basically almost all of our templates have um, PNG files in their resources folder so what you wanna basically do is select all these resources and then try to change the um, the color so what we're gonna do is um, select the folder where that resides I think that resides in the moment app resources folder so I select that okay so here I'm then gonna now select um, a new folder so let's make a new folder in there I'll call it new resources to so that new folder let me scroll. so now if you go back and then select that new folder as your destination folder and then the next step is to click on browse and then choose a reference image so choose an image so you can see what color you're gonna end up with I always like using the navigation bar because that also kind of sets the tone for the application and then you can move around move your hue and saturation sliders all around so you can see this this goes all the way down the scale from green to blue to purple pink brown kind of brownish and greenish again so you can choose from any of these colors right basically so let's just take give it a kind of a nice green tint there and then saturation also you can take it all the way down to gray so that's totally desaturated but then you can also put it all the way to the top but that always looks kind of ugly so let's leave it around there and then click on start so what it does, it goes through all images in your sample folder, in your um, selected folder, and then applies the hue and saturation to those. And then now, at the end, we'll see how those um, images look like. Okay, so let's go in here and then select our new resources folder. So now we're going to see that we have lots of new images in here. Let's choose that grid view. So of course we're not gonna use this one, right? So now it has actually done the same thing for this. Now our person has a green face, and you, know, you can't really see that. But then we can ignore the the ones we don't want. What we want is just the template, the controls, right? Um, so what we can now do is basically select. Okay, well, let's try and replace the the, the bad pictures, right? So if you now go back. For example, and go to our old resources folder. The good thing is that they have the same name, right? So then we can easily um, duplicate what we had before. So let let me go back here, make that larger. So I'm going to select all these, and then select that that that. These are basically the images that we don't want changed or we don't want to have a different hue and saturation value for and I think the rest is okay so let me copy those ones and then go back to the new resources and then paste that now let's replace everything okay so if you look at the images again so we have okay images for the for the pictures and then we have the new green tints for that so now we're done so the best thing the easiest and the fastest way to do that is basically to 
replace our resources folder. So let me let me delete that. Just basically remove the references for that one, and then add a new folder. So basically, add files, and then I'll select that, which is the new folder which we created. And I think you're done. So whilst we had this before, so now let's see how that looks like when we run it again. Yeah, so that's it. So now we have a different color. So now, well, it was pink before. Now it's green, and then we can see that all the the color scheme has basically changed. So we see the background is greenish a little bit. The like and comment buttons as well, and the cool thing also is that we also have an, a different color scheme, and this actually gives you a nice new color palette for the buttons down there. And then we see that it also has a green tint to it. The photos tab as well. So we've got new tabs. And the videos tab as well. Uh, let me click on that again. See that? So that's it for this video. Um, I just showed you how you can basically take any template you have from the from App Design Vault and then change the color scheme around it. This is not going to change the um, the color for the text. So I mean that you'll have to do in your app. I mean the best way to do this would be to go into your app when you find the text and then change that to. Uh, a dark green color for example something like that would work very well okay so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions just send me an email thank you very much